G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Melbourne Football Club's best wins of the last decade. I got this idea from the pair, so if you haven't already checked him out, Pear's YouTube channel will be down below. He did a video about Port Adelaide's best wins of the decade, so definitely check that out. And yeah, let's get into it. Number seven in the list is going to be the D's upset win over the Essendon Football Club in 2014. It was around 13 clash and we hadn't had the greatest of seasons. There was a lot of near misses. Um, we had pinched a couple of good victories coming into this game, but we, I think we were 17th. We were getting pounded for most of this game. We were down by five goals at stages. We were down by four goals with three minutes to go in the third before Jack Grimes kicked a late one to keep us in it a little bit. In the last quarter, it was massive though. Cam Pedersen kicked one. James Frawley kicked one. I think Wattsy... Watts goes square! And then... After just getting the lead, Dean Kent goes on this Superman run down the great southern stand side of the G to give us an eight-point lead to maybe secure the victory. Within a blink of an eye, in classic Melbourne fashion, uh, we let David Zaharakas waltz in two snags from Fiddy. He knows he's got it in him! Keeps it low! And now we're down again, and for the next minute and a half, it is just in our defensive 50. And I was live streaming on my little iPod Touch, and I was just like, oh no. We're probably going to lose this one. Anyway, one of the best bits of play I've ever seen the Melbourne Football Club produce in the most desperate of times down the members' wing through a chain of handballs. Everyone gets involved. Dom Tyson, Jordy McKenzie, Cam Pedersen. Everyone's getting a lick of the pill. We slowly work it up. And then either in his first or second season, Christian Salem marks 30 out directly in front with 30 seconds to go. It's off the scale, this... Salo heads back, he's got the clutch gene in his veins and he slots an absolute sausage and we hold on for a one point victory over the Essendon Bombers, an amazing win. It was all about Essendon coming in, but it's all about Melbourne now. Coming in at number six is another 2014 clash. Round seven footy, the D's travel to Adelaide to take on the rampant Crows. And pretty much from the first half onwards, we took the piss. We kicked seven goals in a row. Jay Kennedy Harris was getting involved. Watts had kicked a couple. I think Salem had slotted a couple as well. So we were just on top of the Crows from the word go. I thought Dom Tyson kicked the sealer. He was so good through traffic here and he kicks an absolute snag of Rucci. But in classic D's fashion, the Crows kick the next couple and we're only down by three points, I believe. Up they fly, off hands, pot there it is. He's got it! And then, when there's a will, there's a way. And a man who always bobs up is Rowan Bale. He got the clearance. And it was our first win in Adelaide since 2001. And the ruse erection had just started. One clearance away from the victory. Three points to margin. There it is. Bale sends him inside 50. The siren will sound. And the ruse resurrection is unfolding before our eyes. Coming in at number five, I think everyone knows that this game would make the list, is the 2017 Round 14 Clash, West Coast Eagles versus the D's. Tom McDonald, you genius. Uh, it was Saturday night footy, and I was sitting at home watching it by my lonesome, and I was so impressed with the way the D's had performed all, all game. We historically just go over to WA and get our pants pulled down, and it was just one of those games where you felt like that wasn't going to happen. Neil Bullen's going to kick a goal, I think, bending it. Oh. Big goal, Melbourne. We were in front for most of the game, and then late in the last quarter, we somehow lost the lead by about three goals. He lines them up, Josh Hill. Can I get the quick reply? West Coast through Josh Hill. He loves it. And we had to really dig deep to get it back. And finally, with a minute or two to go, we were within striking distance of the West Coast Eagles. Seconds to go. Ball goes in long. We need a hero. Bounces up to McDonald. Stands tall. Boot to ball. See you later, Coasters. Hunt flies. Pedersen couldn't grab it. McDonald tackled. Can he get boot to ball? Oh, he's done it to McDonald. You genius. Coming in hot at number four is an epic win 
again over the Essendon Football Club in 2012. Some round 10 footy, and I don't think we had had a win all season. We're coming up a pretty in-form Essendon Football Club. They were either first or second on the ladder. We were last or second last. We were within striking distance most of the game, and we finally got the lead in the last quarter through Colin Sylvia, and then Colin Garland kicking his first ever goal for the Ds, and then he kicks his second ever goal about two seconds later. Uh, this was Mark Neal's first victory for the club. Oh my God, it was euphoric. It was the upset of the season. And yeah, it was actually unbelievable. Jeez, I hope those days are behind us when we're 0-9. Oh, they were grim, grim times. Coming in at number three is another clash you guys might remember. It was round 12, 2017. We're actually traveling all right throughout this season. I think we'd had a few wins. This is the year where we should have made finals. We dropped a couple of easy games that we should have won throughout the season and missed out on the finals by 0.5%, which has never happened in the history of the comp. So this is the season we should have played finals. We were versing the Collingwood Football Club. I don't think we had won Queen's birthday for a while. And it was a great game. It was a thrilling encounter the whole day. We had the lead going in late and I think they were just pressing on us. And I think 10 years earlier, Jack Watts had debuted and got his head pounded in from the Collingwood players and the amount of stuff that Wattsy cops throughout his career I used to think was unfair but um, it was just one of those ones where yeah the bloke just needed to get everyone back didn't he? Anyway late in the game we get the ball out onto the wing I think it's Dom Tyson or Nathan Jones or Harmsy we get it in the hands of Wattsy he's on the great southern stand wing he's got that long to run Anyway, he runs the length of the MCG, gets into the pocket, can cross it into Nathan Jones, but nah, he says, this is my moment, and he seals the deal for the Ds. One of the most amazing victories I've ever seen live. Watts kicks goal! Coming in at number two is the Ds clash against the Hawks in 2016. Round 20 football. I think we had won around nine or 10 games. We were just out of the reach of finals and we were versing the Hawthorne Football Club who have come off the back of three flags and just won nine games in a row. I was at this game and it's one of the best games I've seen live. Like Saturday Arvo footy against the Hawks. They pounded us for the last five, six, seven years and we're actually taking it up to them. Watsy kicked three, Weed's first game kicked a couple, Tyson kicked two, all the youngsters provided, Petrarca, Bug was lively, <laughs> and the game kept going on and on, and I was like, oh, th this isn't sustainable, they're going to get us, they're going to get us, and um, they really stepped up in the last quarter, and they kept pressing late, the Hawks, but for some reason, we just held on. Billy Stretz kicks one with a couple of minutes left to give us that breathing space, but then when Dom Tyson kicks the sealer, Oh my God, I went off my chops. Tried to run through them, got a kick. Tyson bends it. Oh, they're in raptures here. But here is my favorite. No doubt you guys won't be surprised when I say it, it was against Geelong in 2015, round 12 football at Simmons Stadium. Now I had gone to watch the Ds play Geelong probably for the last 10 years straight. And it got to 2015 and I was over it. I was sick of going. So I didn't get tickets and I just watched it from a mate's place just up the road. It was Corey Enright's 300 game and it was just sort of expected that we would just come down, roll over, they celebrate, they go into the bye, happy days. But the D's had other plans. It was Maxi Gorn's breakout game. I think it was his 20th game or something, but he had 44 hitouts and took the piss. Bernie Vince had 38 touches. Nathan Jones had 35 touches. Jeffy Garlic kicked four snags. Neil Bullen had three. It broke a 10-year drought down at Geelong, like we hadn't won at Simmons in 10 years. Um, it was one of the upsets of the year. It was a game that no one thought we'd ever, <laughs> ever win. Uh, and yeah, it was crazy. With strength and skill, gives it to Jones. Nate Jones shrugs one tackle, steadies, shoots and goals. What a start by the Demons. So I was sitting at home watching it and I thought, I've just got to get down there. So I actually went down for the last quarter and a half and watched it and I absolutely loved it. Strikes it pretty well. Dagger to the heart. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Once again, if you haven't already, check out the Pears YouTube channel. He has done one of these on Port Adelaide. In case you don't know, I'm on Cameo. So if you want personalized video messages, hit the link below for birthdays, for Chrissy, just as a present for a mate, then hit the link down below and you can book me. And yeah, I will see you guys for a video very, very soon. Cheers.